MikeDurbin.com. You can get the WCW-esque Conan in that K-Dog Wolfpack style. Man, this Conan might be Bendy of the Year right now. I really told great. you. Yo, yo, yo. Let me speak on this. Mike Durbin Productions exclusive. Conan, I was the most impressed with Conan, man. It's like undercover Bendy of the Year. It's a really nice figure. The, the do-rag is freaking awesome in person. I love the exclusive with the WCW packaging. I love this one with the camo. It's really nice. And I will say a figurine expert who went to TJ on Friday, uh, Matt Cardona, put it over as being a good figurine as far as figurines go. Yo, 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 hold on, let me speak on this. Exclusive Mike Durbin Productions, K-Dog. Look at that, listen to K-Dog, keeping it 100, logo on the back. MikeDurbin.com. Get it right now. Low key might be Bendy of the Year. Go get it. So, Disco, you said you wanted to talk about something? Yes. Uh, there you are. So, did you see what uh, dropped? No. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. That? So. Let's. I want to go through some of these, and I want to give right. our. I think we should chime in, and like we should give our version of what who we think we should, should have won the awards for right. each category here. Um, all right, so uh, I'm going to the Meltzer said what uh, thing here because he's got a, got them all listed. I can put them up on the screen here if you want this. Go. Okay. Uh, do you have Do you have it, Joe? Actually, do, yeah, it's do right here. Okay, you have it. Let me see. Yep. All right. So, will you start off with wrestler of the year? Uh, yeah. This is other. Yeah. Okay. I, oh, so this this one only has a top three. That's fine. Good. Because actually, no, I, I don't want this one, Joe. I want the one with with 10. That I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll, okay. No, no. Just show that to our viewers because we can read that. But I'm going to show Well, yeah, but I'll, 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 I'll have the one with all 10. I'll just, I'll, I'll open my newsletter. Okay. All right. Yeah, so just give so, me a second to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to start. Joe, try to find these. I'm going to go in the order that, uh, that the Meltzer said what uh, account. Yeah. Has. And it'll just be like okay. 60 seconds. All right. All right, so the first one that he uh, is he wore worst match of the year, okay, and this is was Bray Wyatt versus L.A. Knight. All right, now of the ten, the top ten finalists for worst match of the year, uh, Conan. Okay, uh, let me see here. One, two. Okay, Bray Wyatt is number one. Tyrus and CC three number two. Shane and Suke. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six. Matches from WWE, well, worst match of the year. One from NWA and four uh, matches 79 and 10 from um, from AEW. Actually, actually, the, some of these matches I didn't think were that bad. Cole versus Jericho, Cole versus MGF, Julia Hart versus Zavadon, and Jeff Jarrett versus Jeff Hardy. Um, yeah, they've definitely had worse than that <clears throat> with all so those what, botches. Well, the, well, AEW's had definitely some of the worst matches of the year with the botches on, on there. Yeah, some of the AEW women's matches are easily the worst match of the year. All right, that's that. I don't even think that could be argued. All right, um, Maybe I don't even go to vote on this. Like, I can't recall. There's been so much bad work this year with the thigh slapping and everything. That, like, there's, there's a million worst match of the year. Uh, the best match of the year. If you can find that, Joe, pull that up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Omega versus Osprey from Wrestle Kingdom. Omega versus Osprey from F. What is that? What is what's FD stand for, Joe? Uh, you know? I don't know what FD is. So, uh, the Japanese show featured. I don't know. MGM. Yeah, versus I, don't, I don't know. Swerve versus Page, FTR versus the uh, the Blackpool Combat Club or the BC. What's BCG? Who is BCG? Blackpool Combat Group. M- maybe. Huh. Danielson versus Zack Saber Jr. Nakajima versus Miyahara. Osprey versus Naido. <laughs> Joe, you, you, okay. To show you the 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 level of mark you have to be. Okay. This match got enough votes. That it made the top ten of the Wrestling Observer New- Newsletter Wars. Queen's Quest versus Odo Tai. Who? Oh, I'm waiting for, who? Exactly. I don't know. So look that up. What? Who is Queen's Quest and who is Oedo Tai? You know, all right. And number 10, the only WWE match that got the top 10 was Gunther versus Sheamus versus McIntyre. But everything else is Japan. And no, a- no AEW oh. match? Oh, yeah. I'm Jeff Danielson, Swerve versus Page, FTR versus BCG. Um, three of them, you know. Oedo, Oedo Tai is a stable. Villainous oh, is? professional wrestling stable in World Wonder Ring Stardom and formerly on the Japanese Indies. Wait, that's a that's a stardom match? Yeah. this mu- I'm seeing here it says that uh, 
Queen's oh, so Queen's Quest and Oedo Tai are both stables. It was a a cage match between both stables. Di, all right, Cody, are you going to watch that match at some point? No, number nine in the Wrestling Observer Awards. Okay, so do you want to go off the screen or just go with what you're going with? Um, go with what I'm going with here. Um, right, actually, cool. we'll go off the screen. We'll go off the screen. Okay, so you did you did wrestler uh-huh. well, Osprey. Okay, so no, then no, we got. I did, not do, I did not do wrestler yet. Okay, let's start with let's start with the rest. Okay, best wrestler Will Osprey, number one, Cody Rhodes two, MJF three, Roman four, Brian Danielson five, Mystico six, Seth Rollins seven, Okada eight, uh, Miyahara, Kento Miyahara, who is that? This must and be a new Cam Nakano and Moxley made <laughs> Moxley made wrestling yeah, that's a start. Tied for ten. Uh, uh, Cody, your video is your video down? No wait, that's uh, I put it up. I missed it. All right, um, well, I would I would vote for Roman. As the rest of the year, because his biggest draw, um, the the rest of them are fine. I don't, I, I I had nothing really to argue there. There's a lot of the best workers. Just set. I would say you know Cody and Seth, yeah, and and Roman for the WWE are probably their best guys. And you know the the M- yeah it's the same thing. MJF, Bright yeah. Daniels. Uh, keep going. What else we got? So the next up is the MMA most valuable. Do you want to do that? Skip that, John. John. No. Okay. So now we got most outstanding wrestler. Well, Osprey. The, the difference, right? No, I'll, I'll skip this. This is a useless. Uh, Probably best worker. Tag team of the year. Okay, F- FTR, Owens and Sammy, Goto and Ho- who? Hashi? Go- yeah, Ho- Yoshi ha- Yoshihashi. Oh, Wookie, Goto, and Yoshihashi are the third best tag team according to the people that read Dave Meltzer and, and I, once again, guys I've never heard of. The Young Bucks, Mark Davis and Kyle Fletcher. Is that Aussie? No, you, you actually missed another Japanese group I never heard of. Or guys. Oh. Oh, Ta- Taco, yeah. Takuya Nomura and Fuminori Abe. Hmm. <laughs> These guys must be really good. Uh, Kota, the Rise have never heard of them, right? Number three. Uh, Fr- Francesco. Uh, number four. Fr- Francesco Akira and TGP. Oh, TGP is what's his name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> per- Perkins. Was it Perkins? Yeah. Uh, the Usos, number eight, but they were actually, they've been split up most of the year, haven't right. they? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah. But still, though, they, they were. Actually, they were tag teams up until WrestleMania, I think, right? And then after for four months, yeah, but they they, were, they they should be on this list. The acclaimed and Hoon Jun and Ray Santo, whoever that is. Huh. Hmm. Well, this is the, the, uh, two two years in a row for FTR Di Rape Streets. Two. Yeah, they didn't really wrestle. That. Well, their, it their, it says the year that. included holding the AEW tag titles for several months and anchoring the Collision Show. Anchoring the Collision Show, great. Yep. Um, well, they're chasing their, is this part of the, cause remember that their whole gimmick was like, they're, they're going for their legacy, you know? Yeah. So like, yeah. So I wonder if this is like, they consider this part of their legacies where the, bet they do the rest of their protect. Those blacks are going right. right. The okay. The best on interviews. Number one, Eddie Kingston. Number two, MJF. Number three, Chris and Cage. Number four, John Moxley. Number five, Cody Rose. Number six, Brian Danielson. Number seven, Will Ospreay. Number eight, CM Punk. Number nine, LA Knight. Number 10, Don Callis. You see a pattern there? Apparently, yeah, mostly, AEW's got all great interviews. Right. WWE hardly has any, I guess. So, Roman Reigns should be on that list. That's ridiculous. One hundred percent absurd. So this list is that. This list is nullified. So and there's no ha- there's no Heyman either. Heyman's not on. No, ha- I'm not. I'm not even going to acknowledge this list. It's absurd. Okay. All right. Oh, Heyman's are, Heyman's an honorable mention with 65 votes, but no Roman Reigns even an honorable well, mention. There's, there's there's Heyman according to them of the six the people of the. 16 play the wrestlers listed in, in best interviews and honorable mention. Only three WWE personalities are on that list. Not only that, bro, the best talker Four. in all of professional wrestling is not, is not there in the top 10. Paul Heyman. All right. It's absurd. Promotion of the year. World Wrestling Entertainment and Elite All, all Elite Wrestling. Wow, that's a surprise because because these, 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 the people that did this. The voted are very weird because we're going to see some of these other uh, uh, categories. Keep going, Joe. Okay. I don't want uh, you to other shows. So then best TV shows. Okay. So the people that said that WWE is the best promotion, but they said the best weekly TV shows are Dynamite, Collision number two, and then SmackDown. Gee, I'm surprised they didn't put Rampage, then SmackDown. Rampage. <laughs> Rampage is ranked seven. <laughs> it's ranked ahead of... Uh, a new Japan, new Japan. Yeah. Right that's, ahead of bro. Impact. There's no way. There's a lot of AEW bias. That that seems for sure. Yeah, because yeah. it's like and a I, joke, you know. Yeah. Go ahead, keep going. And I think that maybe there's a little bit of, to be said that a lot of WWE fans are casual fans and don't even know what the Observer is, and a lot of the you know 
the other AEW are like more hardcore and you know what I'm saying? Right. So the match of the year is Omega versus Osprey in Tokyo, Omega versus Osprey in Toronto, MJF versus Brian Danielson, Swerve versus Page, FTR versus White and Robinson, Danielson versus Zack Tabor Jr., Nakajima versus Maya Hara, Will Osprey versus Naito, Queen's Quest. Oh, we already did this one. And go through, yeah, I, I, I didn't realize. Yeah, you didn't read so it. Like, yeah. You read every category, and it's all AEW, so you forget which category you're reading. Um, okay. okay. So, MMA fight, no. Yeah, I keep going. Oh. All right. U.S. and Canada MVP. MVP. Yeah, I keep going. These are all stupid. Japanese MVP. Uh, uh, well, that's Mexico. Great. Mexico oh, MVP. No, no, Let's do this. this. Okay. According to the, the, the readers of the Observer Code, right. these are the top five MVPs for Mexico wrestling. Right. Mystico number one. Right. Uh, Vikingo number two. Rocky Romero, number three, Volador Jr., number four, and Pentagon, number five. Would you agree or disagree with that list? Um, not sure why Volador's ahead of Pentagon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if Rocky Romero did a lot. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, okay. it's subjective, but yeah, I don't got no real big problems with that. Okay, keep keep going until we get to a okay. A so non non heavyweight MVP, no uh, women's wrestling MVP. Rhea for sure. So the, I don't really care who they. Well, actually, I want to hear who they think is on this list. So, so Rhea, Julia, Asina, Tam Nakano, Becky Lynch, Tony Storm, Susie Suzuki, Mayu Yamashika, Magu Owut. <laughs> and so, I mean, just the fact that like the the readers of the Observer know this many people that that, that I mean, nobody has any clue who they are is pretty. You're going to get so much YouTube heat for mispronouncing. Oh, it's the truth because well, how are these supposed <laughs> to know it? It's reading it, it for the heat. first time, right? You know, it's like what are one of my they wanted to can they wanted to cancel George R. R. Martin, the author of the Game of Thrones saga, because at an author's convention he announced a award winner and she had a Hispanic name and he he couldn't say it. And they they said he was disrespecting her, so they they sort of, they, they, did, the they did the cancel culture for a day on him. Yeah, right, let's do the feud of the year here. Okay, nobody can disagree with number one. Sammy yep. and uh, Kevin Owens against the Bloodline. Page versus Strickland. That's been a pretty ongoing feud. I, I'm really not going to disagree with that. Kento uh, Bayahara <laughs> versus Katsuhiko Nakajima was a big feud because it's got number three. Right. Uh-huh. Kenny Omega versus Will Osprey wasn't even really a feud. They just had one match. Two. Or on eight, oh, but they wrestled Japan, though, I guess. Oh, yeah. Eight well, yeah. Moxley, the Elite versus the Blackpool Combat Club, Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso, Cody versus Brock Lesnar, MJ versus Devil, Rocky Romero versus Volador Jr. Are they still like CMLO guys going in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, MJ versus the Devil. That's interesting because I think that gets a word later, like a Razzie, but go ahead. All right. Um, keep going. I'm not. I mean, wrestling box office draws. Uh, keep going. Well, everybody knows what went into it. Became most improved. Most improved. Okay, yeah, this is the list I want to get to. This is hysterical. Julia Hart is the most improved. No way. Ahead of Dominic Mysterio. No way. Who is like, obviously, <laughs> the single most visibly improved performer in professional wrestling today over the course of a year. Would you agree with that? 100%. Dominic? Not not even close. Of who we who who he is, but yeah. And remember, I mean, I know I've said this before, and you guys probably know it. Uh, but the voters for this, it does include active wrestlers, retired wrestlers, you know, uh, bookers, former bookers. It, okay, it's a lot of people in the business. That yeah. doesn't mean that we have to think like them. We all. No, I know. I know. One. That's I just, the yeah. problem. Let me just say this, Joe. This is nothing against you, but that's yeah. a problem today in wrestling. People got to see what somebody else opines and right. then they they have an opinion. They, right. You know, I don't know what anybody else says. Yeah. Right. But let me. No, I only wanted to make it clear just because so you guys aren't like, ah, it's just Mark's voting, you know? That's all. Yeah. A lot of wrestlers are Mark's. I'm going <laughs> right. to say this, okay? Yeah. The guy that didn't even make the list and should be on the list because he's getting better every time he's out there is Logan Paul. Yep. How could he not even be on he's the list? He's not on the list? I don't even think he's in the. Uh, look, no. look at wow. the, the, the honorable mentions. He's not there. No. He's not even in the honorable well, There's like that's 40 ridiculous. people listening to the honorable mentions. Nobody thinks that Logan Paul's improved every. Come on, that's ridiculous. That's number one and number two are Dominic Mysterio and Logan Paul. And anybody in professional wrestling that watches professional wrestling would not argue with that. That's it. Performance in the business would not even argue. It's got Swerve at number five for most improved. You guys, uh, no, that's wrong. He's always he's been improved. great. That's what I was going to say. I was like, would you agree with that? You know, because here's what I would say: if you're using going to put Swerve on this list, you'd have to put Seth Rollins on the list because his, his character has improved. Like he's becoming a bigger. Yeah, star but he improved a couple of years ago. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. So. 
I right, keep going, Joe. Most charismatic right, is yeah, next. All right. Yeah. You get uh okay. MJF, Roman Reigns, Kento Miyahara, Julia, Giulia, or whatever they said, the Julia Hart is J G I U L I A. Cody Rose, Eddie Kingston, Orange Cassie, CM Punk, Swerve Strickland, Ellie Knight, and Dominic Lucero. I want to argue that anybody on this list does not have except Julia and Kento Miyahara, I don't even know. All of those people have good charisma. So I'm not even I'm not, I can't argue with anything on that list. Yeah. Um, and then your your honorable mentions are Yota Suji, Moxley, <laughs> Christian Cage, Naido, and Sami Zayn. Interesting. Yeah. Well, what an omission of Chris Jericho out of all these awards. Yeah, and, and if you look at the I was looking at past winners scrolling and Jericho in twenty nineteen was most charismatic and best yeah. on interviews. That's right. what like usually I'll say like, man, when did people turn on him? That's what I'm talking about. You yeah, know? The best technical wrestlers, Brian Danielson, Zach Sabre Jr., and Josh Alexander. I'm like, whatever you, technical wrestling means, I don't know. Like, this is so well, cool. actually, it's the Brian Danielson Award, and the winner so is Brian won. Danielson. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it. All right, this is the one I want to talk about. This is funny. Yeah. But John Moxley is not the best brawler. I mean, the guy barely even throws punches out there. And he doesn't sell other guys because when guys are punching him back, he doesn't even, doesn't even register half the time. Um, I would say shit, shame is, I say Adam Page is a better brawler. I, I don't even consider Eddie Kingston a brawler. Hmm. Like, Eddie Kingston doesn't brawl out there. He yeah, he's kind of a brawler. Yeah, 100%. Except the chops so? in the corner. Yeah. Bro, he does those silly chops like this. Like, that, that that's not brawly. Okay, but he does other stuff. His his style is more of a brawler than anything else. I would else. call Gunther a good brawler. Because he 100%. Yeah, 100 that's, that should be number one. number one. Right, for sure. Because yeah. he's like the snuggest guy, and it looks... And the that guy that's crazy. behind him is probably right. number two. Roosh, yeah. That, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Bush does have a good, good brawling offense. Right. Uh, and Sheamus, he got Moxley's a- Moxley's uh, third year in a row winning this award. Is it really? Yep. Good grief. Who's your uh, best, best okay, flying best yeah. wrestler? This is going to be interesting. Um, I would, I, I, I wouldn't even think there's is Ricochet on this list. Wow, Ricochet got omitted altogether. Yeah, that's brutal. unbelievable. Uh, Vikingo, Osprey, Phoenix, Dorada, Commander. Yeah, these are all jet. Yeah, no like way, a- no way. Mosca Dorada is better than than um. What's this guy's name? Uh, Mystico 8? No, no. Who were we just talking about? Well, Will Osprey Phoenix. No, no, no. Who were we just talking about from WWE Kingo. that he was oh, an under, Ricochet. under... Ricochet. Ricochet. No yeah, way he's Ricochet better than list. Ricochet. You know? Wow. Ricochet got a... That's crazy. That's like... Bro, there's such, a, there's such an anti-WWE bias. They didn't even put Ricochet on the list. Of best Who's this guy? <laughs> Listen to this guy's name. Starlight Kid. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. Titan. Who is Titan? He's Titan. from CMLL. Oh, yes, can keep going. Yeah, they all these guys love CMLL now. Yeah, keep mm-hmm. going. Overrated, uh, most overrated. Interesting. Okay. Oh, come on, <laughs> come <laughs> on. To, to, Calm save, the f- to save Dave Meltzer's credit, the people that read his mind, I, I don't want to insult these people. Okay, but okay, so not as the most overrated, number two most overrated. Fred, I just saw it. I just <laughs> Roman, saw it. Roman Reigns apparently That's is overrated. Ridiculous. Punk Tyrus. MJF, Austin Theory, Nia Jax, Jericho, LA Knight, and Jake Lee. And The Miz, Bianca Belair, Yujiro Tanahashi, Takahashi, and Soraya is over. LA Knight? What? Uh, bro, these are people that read the dirt sheets and vote on the award. So. Jericho, what the? Okay. The most underrated. This would be an issue. Right. Okay, Chad Gable. Right. Um, uh, Chad Gable, Takesh- Takeshita. Right. Uh, Daniel Garcia, Mike Bailey, Suji, Ricochet, Roosh, Commander. Now Ricochet shows up? Yeah, he's underrated now. Right. Britt Baker and Adam Page. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think there's a lot of other people. I think LA Knight's underrated. You know? Yeah. Uh, Rookie of the Year. Uh, oh, my God. Wait, wait. We do Chad that. Gable, I agree with. Y- Yuma Anzai. Cool. Whoever that is. is a Rookie of the Year. Then Action Andretti is a number two Rookie of the Year. He's not a rookie. He was there last year. For but that's the award from last year. The 2020. Oh, okay. Okay. My bad then. Yeah. Okay. Hey, go ahead. Keep going. He's number yeah. two. Best it's not wrestler. Hey. Which used to be best manager. This is Don, Don Callis, his best non wrestler ahead of Paul Heyman. And both of them were at the bottom of the list for best promo, which is inter- interesting. Right. One wasn't um, even on there. Yeah. Callis was 10th. Okay. And Paul Heyman wasn't even there. There's an honorable mention. Yeah. Uh, Don Callis is a. Uh, Prince number- Donna. Well, number three, I guess. I don't know. Uh, RJ, RJ City ahead of Nick 
Alden? He's brutal, yeah. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, I, I, did, I can't watch him. <laughs> just... Alden doesn't been around that long. He's easily like one of the sec- number two on two and three on this list. Yeah, yeah right. but look at that. He's oh, he's, got an, he's got votes to crack the list. And what, he's only been on TV for, what, three months or something? Who? Yeah. yeah, but he's been ex- ex- Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's great, yeah. Best television announcer, Excalibur. Uh, Ian Riccoboni, Kevin Kelly, Nigel McGinnis, Chris Charlton. They they all think these guys are better. How is Pat McAfee not on there? No, it's all WWE. Was he missing? Was he missing, he missing all year though? Oh. How, how long was McAfee off TV though? Wasn't he gone since Mania? Football season. And then, so he was gone during football season. It's on like right, 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 right. So okay. Like Excalibur, Rick and Bo- Bro, even with the reduced schedule, he's better than everybody there. That's okay, all worst, I got to say. Worst television announcers: Booker T, <laughs> Kevin Patrick, what? number two; Ross, number three; Michael oh. number four; Corey Graves, number five. Uh, this is absurd. Um, I don't agree know. with any of that. I don't know much. I know Kevin again. Patrick. But I don't know much. Yeah. No. Keep Honorable going. mention: Taz McAfee, Excalibur. Uh, best major wrestling show. You can, you know. Okay, look, look, how many of these shows are WWE shows? Okay. One. AEW Revolution. One, two. Number two is AEW. Number three is AEW. Number four is WWE. Number five is AEW. Number six is Stardom. Number seven is New Japan. Number eight is Noah. Number nine is uh, AEW. Number ten is Ring of Honor. And number 11 is AEW Honorable Mention. Yeah, I don't what, was, what, was the theme, what was the theme last year that when we would do this podcast? Like last year, like- Kind of the same, every, right? Every month, no. Every month we were talking about how the WWE is just up in their game every pay-per-view. Improving, oh, yes, sir. I yep. thought you meant last year's Observer. Yeah. No, no, no. This is like, remember, like the, the, none of those shows made the, were the best shows of the year, even though like they were getting rave reviews. I don't know. Um, anything else? This is, anything else? It just skews heavily, you know, New Japan, AEW- Oh wait! You know CMLL. Apparently, WWE was putting on the worst shows because the worst major shows was Crown Jewel, NWA, AEW got number three, WWE four, Triple A five, NWA six, WWE seven, WWE eight, WWE nine, NWA ten, and then honorable mention a couple more, three more WWE like WWE just had a NXT two. yeah. <laughs> so apparently, the, so let's just so I mean let's just shut it down here because the theme of people that read the Observer Awards. Is that AEW has the best wrestling? Oh no, no, I want to get to this most disgusting promotional the best fight. show. I'm just going to ask you. Yeah. Okay, let's go to this because I thought this was hysterical. The most disgusting promotional tactic number one is WWE enabling Vince McMahon and him being back in power. TKO keeping him in position to a power. Number one, WWE continuing relationship with Saudi Arabia is number two. NWA bought other pay per view is number three. Did you see that? How? Yes, I did. You know what it is. Okay. okay. Yep. Yep. Power slap is number four. AW signing Ric Flair is number five. AW's Juice Robinson using a roll of quarters at the her, the Hamas terrorist attacks and doing an anti-Semitic angle. Number six. TKO giving Vince McMahon and Dana White transgressions. Uh, and no, TKO ignoring their transgressions. Colby Covington using the death of Leon's father to promote a fight. WWE hiring CM Punk is a disgusting promotional tactic, I guess. And That's Sean weird. Strickland uh, openly homophobic comments with no repercussions from USC or her TKO. The honorable mention one should have gotten number one. Oh honorable yeah, mention is Adam Page drinking Swerve Strickland's blood. Like the no, no I, I want to say this in year 2024. I would think that mutilating yourself and bleeding profusely on TV would be the most disgusting but uh, promotional tactic. The, okay, go every- go back up, Joe, because there's a couple of things that I wanted to comment on. Go ahead. Uh, WWE enabling Vince McMahon and him being in power, all that. Uh, kind of Vince McMahon did that himself. Right, you know, yeah. He kept himself in power, and he even fired people so he could get back on the board. Uh, yeah, he structured a continued his, relationship he, with Saudi Arabia. Okay, so you know you have a chance to make a lot of money, and there's a lot of other people that do not follow human rights, including our own, and and we and we have better, you know, we have great relations with them and you're worried about Saudi Arabia, that's just virtual signaling to me. Right. Um, it's almost like how now, you know, Joe Biden, because this guy, the, I can't pronounce the name, Novosansky or whatever, the, the guy that Putin, you know, Bounty. yeah. Uh, you know, now he's got 500 financial, you know, uh, restrictions on, on uh, Russia because of this. It's like, Bro, they're not going to change the way they are because you do some sort of restriction. They got other partners they can work with. Uh, do you see this? Also, weird, this also weird, the other, let me finish. Also, yeah, the I'm Dana sorry. White slapped his wife. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? If she's cool with it, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, you know, yeah. 
she came out and she even said, hey, no, we had a fight. We're embarrassed. Move on. If they can move on, why can't you? you right. Know? Uh, yeah. I would think to me the most disgusting promotional tactic is the use of the way they use the blood in 2024. It is disgusting. Right. Like if you really think it disgusting, it was like, would you want somebody in your house bleeding all over the place? Of course not. Right. Well, that's not the point. It's just him drinking. It looked gross. <clears throat> you yeah. guys want a cameo here? We got Thorn. Thorn is back in action. Come here, Thorn. Oh, I like him. <laughs> yeah. Nice. He's got a nice little run in. Hey, Thorn, we got a n- podcast. Look, Thorn. Take it down. <laughs> Does he listen to you when you talk to him or no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all, right. Um, all right. All right. Any more here? We got worst TV show. Well, who who, who who they vote for in that? I uh, think oh, worst match. Worst. Let me let me see what's TV show match feud. So these are all the worsts coming up. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, they're, they're all going to be WWE. You know. So I'll just, all right, and, yeah, and, NWA NWA's worst TV show. But, but the bottom Ray line, LA Knight worst match. Yeah. Go ahead. If you would if you would show this list to somebody that hasn't watched wrestling. And they like went and watched. They would obviously think that the AEW shows are going to be great. Like all the best performers are on there. Stuff to be. Oh, go to Booker of the Year. Yep, Booker of the Year. So for some reason, the people that read the Observer uh-huh. voted that the WWE was the best promotion. Right. Okay. They also voted that AEW Collision and Dynamite are the top two shows, but they think that Paul Levesque is the best Booker. <laughs> oh, it said no, Tony Khan is number two. Where's how come Conan doesn't give me love on this list? Yeah, and it's the no. Oh, let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because all the hardcore marks hate me calling them marks because I show them no love. I don't. Right. I don't put over their lame. So I'm the enemy. That's why you always see negative put up about us. You know, because they're trying to get us heat. They're trying to get us canceled, and they don't understand, bro. We're not built like that. Never will be. And so there's a lot of hate. You know. Right, so this make this number three own. guy Juan Juan Manuel Mar he's CMLL I'd assume right yeah okay so wait so they put they actually people voted for the the CMLL guy number three but right. you, didn't, you didn't get out of women yeah that's and then, bro even when we were doing great business you know but <laughs> right. like I said you know they all hate me and you know I don't Ooh, know that they hate them but I don't like you know what so they also gave Nick Khan the promoter of the year but he's not a, is he a promoter uh, what's his role there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he. I don't know why they would call him promoter of the year. Weird. Ben he's uh, he Storm. He, well, he's the president of. He's the president of WWE. Hey, so you're that, going to tell you know. me that Tony Khan did a better job promoting Dana White? That's what it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at number four, number four. This shows you Chavo Luteroth. This guy's yeah. like 90 years old. He works for CMLL. He's a promoter of the year. Come on. <laughs> I swear, it seemed like spite votes, man. <laughs> Tony Storm, Cassidy, Bloodline, bro- bro- Brochachos. Who are the Brochachos? That, that was Adam Cole and MJF. Oh, okay. LA Knight, Dominic Mysterio, Swerve, Shook, and Cody. Isn't that funny? Like, here we are in the year 2024, and then not many of these people actually have have identifiable gimmicks. They're just like people with, you know, kind of weird. Worst gimmick. Oh, my God. Here we go. The Devil, Q- QTV. Actually, QTV was the worst gimmick. Remember that? I don't, was it worse than the devil? Remember they were doing the video? The- yeah, 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 yeah. But was it worse than... I thought... I know, it wasn't I, worse than the devil. I told well, them... QTV, like- QTV got pulled off because Punk didn't like it. Remember that? Oh, okay. No. House of... Who is House of Torture? They're like the worst one, the fourth... The number four worst gimmick. I don't gimmick. know that is. Let's and see. MJF is the worst, 10th worst gimmick. Uh, Seth what? Rollins is the eighth. Roderick Strong, worst gimmick. He didn't even have a gimmick. Oh. Well, I guess it's... Well, the I want to get to know. Can we get the you? How is Seth know? Rollins a worth gimmick? Guys, entertain. Let me ask. Who's you the schism? I have no idea. All right, Joe. Let me ask you something. Yo, yeah. do you know anybody that votes in the Wrestling Observer Awards? Probably no. Him. I mean, I get a, I get a ballot, but I didn't vote this year. Uh, do I don't you know. know I would. Yeah, I would say here's what about uh, you know the guys that have always subscribed, like like Ferrara always subscribed, right? Maybe well, he's probably not. Let's do this. Before. I want to shout out. Any, I'd be willing. To, I want to do a round table. I bet Jericho votes. I want to get the people, some people that are listeners, anybody that voted in the Wrestling Observer Awards. I want. To, I want to pick their brain because I, I, this is weird. I mean, I'll put that that's out. Enough. I, I've seen enough here. It's just yeah. in fact, So if you go. Know. Yeah. So if you if you if you're an observer voter and you want to come on the show and discuss some of these things, we would like to have you on. 
hell of a deal. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!